going on everyone welcome rabbit here and today we're taking a look at the etc mc node and etmc stands for ethereum classic mining community now this node is probably one of the fastest and easiest nodes i have ever set up it's simply like three or four clicks of a mouse let it sink and you are up and running so in this video we are going to go through the setup process which i kind of said earlier is very very easy we'll show you how to buy this where to buy this exactly what's going on because if you run a standard node on ethereum classic or any blockchain for that matter all mining pools have to run a node in order to mine to them you don't get paid anything so this is actually done through a smart contract which is coming from the etc dow community there and then it's being distributed to help decentralize the ethereum classic chain so that's why you're actually getting rewards and the rewards you do earn is etc pal now if you remember ton coin which has nothing to do with this whatsoever it is a proof of stake coin and it was mineable for a little while but the only reason it was mineable was due to a smart contract x amount was set aside for miners to get their hands into tong coin and that's kind of what was going on there we were mining to a smart contract just to get rewarded in coin so that's kind of what's going on here to help add decentralization to the ethereum classic chain we are getting paid etc pow through a smart contract on the ethereum classic chain and it's actually giving us rewards i'm also going to go through the dex hebe swap which is what you actually use to swap back and forth between etc and etc pow and vice versa and then we're also going to check the price and my last 24 hours profitability of using this node now in order to set this miner up all you got to do is simply plug in the power your ethernet keyboard and mouse depending on the version that you do have more on those later on in this video when we look at purchasing this little node box or the digital license if you support your own hardware at home so once you get that done, go into the dashboard once loaded up, run this as an administrator. It does need administrator privileges to read and write certain files and then simply pick your client, either Besu or Geth. I chose Geth myself and then simply click on the mine POW. That is it. You are now up and running. All you got to do now is wait for that blockchain to sync. It can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Now here's a little troubleshooting tip in case you're having issues finding peers now most people shouldn't get any issues you should be up and sinking already at this point but if not here's a couple troubleshooting things you can do check your router and make sure tcp and udp on the ip of your node is actually forwarding port number 30303 that is 30303 also if that doesn't work at that point you can add the exceptions into your windows defender type of thing here so what you want to do here is hit your windows key r and it'll bring up type in wf.msc hit enter that'll come down to here and now we're going to hit inbound rules and then hit new rule from here we're going to see that we're going to have to forward our port so we're going to select port here hit next we're on tcp and we're going to go 30303 hit next and now we're going to allow that connection. It's already there. We're going to hit next. You can choose whatever you want. I left all three check marked and it seems to work just fine. Hit next again. And now you're going to want to name this so you know what it is. If you want to delete it later, you delete the note or whatever happens moving into the future. So now I'm going to just name this ETC MC Geth because this is the Geth node side of things. These are Geth ports. And then I'm just going to put inbound TCP. Hit finish. And now you're done. That exception is there. Now repeat the same process, but choose UDP instead of TCP. We also have to do the exact same thing for your outbound rules, but this has default blocked by default here. So we're going to go into port again. As you can see, we're going to hit next. We're going to choose TCP just to start with. And again, the second time you do it, you're going to want to choose UDP. We're going to forward that port 30303. Hit next. And now you can see it's blocked the connection. We actually want to allow that connection here. Hit next and then have all three selected again. Hit next and then name this outbound, you know, geth, etc, mc. You know, this is a different order what I did in the other one. But just name it something so you know exactly what it is. And we're going TCP outbound just so you know what's going on so we're going to finish that and now that exception is there and again do the exact same thing on the outbound for the udp and vice versa for the inbound as well after that point you should start getting peers in no time 
Once your wallet is fully synced, you're going to want to register your node. Once you click it on the left hand side where it says register node, it's going to ask for your username, email and ETC wallet address. So username can be anything that you want to use as a username. Your email is highly recommended to use whatever you did purchase your node or digital license with. And then your ETC wallet address, it is recommended to use the MetaMask wallet because there are NFTs and everything associated with everything as well. And you use the same address and ETC emails for all the nodes you purchase unless obviously you use a different email for purchasing different nodes but I just use everything and I do currently have two nodes online at that point on the right hand side you'll see claim ETC POW and you must be registered in order to claim these and the minimum is claimed every 100 tokens also there are other videos out there claiming you get a free NFT when you do register your node that is not happening anymore that was back from an August giveaway or promotion that was going on you do not get any free NFTs for registering your nodes anymore. So keep that in the back of your mind if you don't see the pop-up and you've seen a previous video from someone on it. So now let's look at the past 24 hours in profitability that I did get on this node. So I have two screenshots there. One, I took the screenshot and I waited exactly 24 hours to see how many ETC POW tokens I would have. And then I subtracted it and then we're going to look at the current price. So I started with 8.930 there on the first day and then I let it sit for 24 hours and I was at 21.898. That works out to be 12.968 etc pow in 24 hours looking at the current price here we can see that it's currently a little over 31 cents that actually works out to be about four dollars and four cents in the past 24 hours or 121 dollars if it keeps up for the entire month it is estimated that these should mine around 400 tokens per month so looking at that the numbers are looking pretty good this thing also while running only uses a total of 9.5 to about 10 watts so this thing barely uses any power at all while mining or i guess validating ethereum classic transactions on the node Another thing we should definitely point out here is this project is only a few months old at this point. And we can see now it is gaining a lot of popularity. And that's why these nodes are sold out quite a bit is the majority of Ethereum Classic is now being ran across the ETC MC Geth nodes. As we can see here, look at this. 72% of this is all ran off the core Geth ETC MC nodes. And you can see the decentralization that is spread out across the world. So this is definitely helping people help decentralize the mining community and the ETC community in general. Okay, now let's have a look at how to actually purchase these nodes. So I will have a link to the ETMC store down in the description below, as well as my discount code Rabid Mining, which will grant you 5% off and it will help the channel out a little bit. You can also choose to use code Nordic, which is another YouTuber and he has looked at this. I think he was the first one to check out this miner a couple months ago. It is a 10% discount, but obviously you're not supporting my channel, but I'm still giving you that option available if you're looking for the bigger discount so the first one here is pre-order this etcmc node here is actually you can use paypal credit cards and most ways that use fiat currency to purchase this node you also have the option to pay with the most popular cryptos right here uh here is just a paypal version to get this one but this also comes with a seven inch monitor as well as a bluetooth keyboard and mouse built into the keyboard this one is one i'm really eyeballing here it does say only seven available i believe more are coming sometime early next week it actually might be this week because the week just started and then obviously the cheapest version here is the etc mc digital download lifetime license this is if you have your own hardware already at home to support it it is the fastest way you don't have to wait for shipping or anything for this to happen but keep in mind the system requirements you do need at least windows 10 or 11 no it does not work on linux for you guys are asking it is only currently on windows you need a four core four thread cpu uh, for the fast node 256 gigabyte ssd will work to mine etc pow but if you do want to run a complete co full node here you are going to need at least a one terabyte ssd to sync the entire chain and then minimum memory is only eight gigabytes but it's optimal to get 16. and again just to show you those discount codes code rabid mining here will grant you five percent off and it does help support the channel i do get a small cut of that or you can use code nordic 
right here and get yourself a 10% discount. Remember, I want the uh, option available. You guys can choose what you want to do, whether you get the biggest discount or help support me and my channel. So now let's kind of have a look here at the ETMC DAO and kind of what's going on here. And a lot of the stuff that's going on, whether it's minting NFTs, which we still got to take a look at here, buying these nodes, running these nodes, and everything that's going on. All the profits is being redistributed between dev fees as well as all of us, the community, through those NFTs and the ETC POW and so on. So you are, every time you buy something, you're actually giving yourself back a little bit more and the entire community is coming together to help decentralize the world of Ethereum Classic. So you can pause the video and kind of go through all this, but I do want to point this one out right here is the DAO would generate income from multiple streams, including profits made from node sales, one-time membership fees in the form of NFTs, and income from the ETC MC mining pool and ETC MC mining farm. So the mining pool and stuff, I don't know if that's actually set up or anything yet. I'm going to have to get a lot more information on this if it's because Bitmain actually had a big $10 million partnership with the ETC DAO where they donated a bunch of e9 miners or e9 pros maybe as well as 10 million dollars or something i can't remember what was all going on there that was a long time ago and i wasn't really following it and then all of this started emerging recently so i don't know if this is part of it or not so i cannot confirm that that is this so i'm gonna have to wait and get more confirmation and we'll have to do some updates in a future video regardless we got the mining pool we got mining farm profits we got the store profits nft mint profits node profits future income streams so everything is going in to a main signature wallet here known as the ETC MC DAO. And then from there, it's being redistributed across all these. So here we can see the members wallet. That is us, me, you, anyone that could hold an NFT or mints an NFT here. 35% uh, of that is going to all the members here. And that is being distributed based on the NFT you actually get. And that is actually all random. So here's the breakdown on a lot of these NFTs, I guess. So you can see there's a limited amount here. Obviously, the green emerald is the best one that you can get. So it's going to be very rare. So if you start to mint them expecting for this, it's probably not going to happen. But I guess you never know. And the reward here is 50% plus 5 ETC POW. And these come in monthly airdrops to all NFT holders here. And these are considered the members' wallets. This is the most common, this orange topaz one here. Expect to get that one. But again, you never know. No, it is completely random when you mint the NFT on which one you're actually going to get. Now, to become a member, it's pretty simple. You simply go up top here and click on become a member, and then you can bring it into here. Click on mint membership, and you can see the price is 3.5 etc i actually have one already i'm gonna actually where do i do it view my membership gallery so you simply click on this and then connect your wallet in this case it's going to be metamask so you click on the top right here i'm already logged in so it popped up but i do have the purple uh amiest amiest uh membership you know i'm butcher words all the time i got the purple one so if I actually look at my MetaMask right now, I'm all logged in. I'd actually have 4.75 ETC. So I'm actually going to mint myself another NFT. So I just want to mint one. I'm going to hit one here. I'm going to hit mint NFT. We're going to see which one I get. We're going to have to confirm and accept a bunch of stuff. So yes, 3.5 ETC. Confirm that. And this is all my own money. They did not give me anything to do this. I want to see how this works out. I got to figure out what dates the airdrops and stuff are, but I'm waiting to see, you know, how this actually plays out. So I'm gambling right now with my own Ethereum Classic. And this actually pointed me to putting my rigs, my jazz miners and stuff, are back to mining. I pulled them off Octospace to mine ETC again. And it looks like I got the bronze membership. So again, this is random. So I got proof of bronze, so I'm just going to close this out. And I want to go to view my membership gallery again. And it should load up and show that I have the purple one as well as the bronze one. I guess I got to click on wallet. There we go. I clicked on wallet. And now you can say I have two NFTs. So which one exactly is that bronze one? Okay, so here's the bronze one. Obviously, it's in the lower pack. It's in the higher lower pack. So you can see all the tiers here, kind of. You have your percentages and then the lower ETC POW drop. And then you got the higher five ETC power block. And then it goes to 10%, 2.5, 10%, 5%. You can see so on. So I got almost the bottom tier. It's the second last tier. So that's still not too bad. Again, I'm going to have to wait. We'll do an updated video and see how much Ethereum Classic this actually is going to pay me out. And it's going to reduce as more people keep minting these NFTs. That reward does slowly come down. 
All right, so now we're gonna look at the swap. This is how you get your mind ETC POW in MetaMask, and you can swap it back to either Ethereum Classic or swap Ethereum Classic into ETC POW in order to purchase stuff like the ETCM digital download. You do have to use ETC POW in order to purchase the digital license of this miner. And based on the current price of everything, it tells you exactly how much ETC POW you need. So you can just get this, do a quick swap, and then come here and purchase it by confirming Confirming that in your MetaMask wallet. Now, I don't have enough for that right now. Maybe later on, I will get another digital license to set up another PC, but it's a pretty simple process. So I'm just going to simply do a quick swap here for you guys so you can see. So I'm going to take one ETC and turn that into 51.099 ETC POW. So I'm just going to hit the swap button right here, and you can see the liquidity provider fee as well as the price impact that my swap is going to do and my minimum received. So we're just going to confirm the swap here. We're going to swap it over. We can see the site suggested this amount of gas. So this is how much it's going to cost me to do a swap. If you're familiar with swapping stuff on the Ethereum blockchain, this is probably going to cost me around $1,000 or so. And as I can see here, that transaction fee is less than a cent in Canadian dollars. So it is very cheap. So I'm now going to hit that confirmation button. It's going to do its thing. I'm going to close it. Bam, transaction submitted. So now I got to wait for it all to go pending and do its thing. So I'm just going to cut back when it does it. Okay, so transaction is now complete. We're all good here. So now if we go into here, we can see, or it's going to turn this around. Now I'm going to go max, and then I'm going to swap that back into my ETC. You can see we're slightly less now because of the swapping fees and everything's going to come into here, but we hardly lost anything at all. So now when mining for this node and you want to put this back into ETC, all I'm going to do is reverse swap it like we just seen converting into ETC POW. I'm going to approve this one. We're going to come into our MetaMask. We're going to scroll all the way down, hit next. We're going to approve this, and now we're just going to wait it out again, and it's going to swap all my ETC POW into Ethereum Classic. Now, the biggest issue with ETC right now is sending it back and forth to wallet to wallet to this DEX to anything is very, very fast, actually. But exchanges, exchanges are still really hurting Ethereum Classic by having anywhere from 12 to two days confirmations. And it has nothing to do with the ETC chain at all. It's all on the exchanges. So us as a community, I feel we got to start really putting the pressure on the exchanges here to start dropping that confirmation town. So had that big hack that caused the whole split between etc becoming etc and ethereum moving forward to what ethereum is today and now all the confirmations are still extremely high and i feel the blockchain is a lot safer there's been a lot of security measures implemented and things are just bad so we need to put pressure on these exchanges to start dropping those confirmations times so that we can get more usability on the ethereum classic chain and now we can see I pretty much got all of my Ethereum Classic back. So there we go. It is pretty easy to swap back and forth between ETC POW or ETC or swap your ETC POW rewards into ETC and then swap it to whatever you want for maybe Casper for huge gains or we have no idea or just hodl the ETC. All right, guys. So that does wrap up this video on the ETC MC node. Help decentralize the Ethereum Classic blockchain as well as the DAO, some of these NFTs, the swap and pretty much the whole ecosystem so this is pretty much just touching the surface of everything that's actually going on within ethereum classic so i'm getting pretty bullish here all my miners are back on etc let me know if i miss something or any questions you may have i can get to the etc team or the etc mc team and get back to you thank you for checking out this video i will see you on the next one rabbit out